Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're taking a look at uh, the Safari Land schema. Now, full disclosure, on this holster, uh, this showed up randomly at my house about three weeks ago. I did not ask for this. I was not aware that this was coming out. So the reason that this is here is because I'm probably on a list of Safari Land people to review their products, and that's probably Jake's fault. So go ahead and comment thanks, Jake, in the comments down below. But today we're going to be taking a look at this holster, going over it in my time with it. I've had about three weeks of owning this holster, or at least just having it here, and I've been carrying it and wearing it basically every day. So this is a new set of concealed carry holsters from Safari Land, again called the Schema. The one that they sent out to me is the P365 XL version. I don't own an XL. Uh, I just have the regular P365 here. So you'll notice that there is a little bit of a gap here at the end, though the holster still works as intended. It's just a little bit bigger than it needs to be. So this is, of course, an inside the waistband style holster made by Safari Land. I'm not really sure why they came out with this. This really isn't what they're known for. Now, I have worked with Safari Land in the past. I actually have a holster of theirs that I have been supposed to review for like six months now. I will eventually get that video out probably fairly soon, but their duty holsters are what they're known for. And so now they're kind of getting into the inside the waistband, smaller holster gang. Now, this is not like your standard Kydex holster. This is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bulkier. Now, it's not particularly heavy, of course, because there's just not a lot of material here. They do remove a lot of the material of whatever polymer that they're making. And I just looked up the price of this today because I was very interested to see what they were charging for this holster. And it apparently is coming out for a whopping $40 for a Safariland IWB holster. And for the performance, which we'll get into in just a minute, I think the price is actually excellent. Now, originally when this showed up, I thought that this was going to be a very expensive holster. They were going to try and charge like 100 bucks for it or something else like that. And for that sort of money, I wouldn't recommend the holster. But for, again, like 40 bucks for a very decent plasticky holster, it's actually very nice. So getting into some of the features of the holster, it does actually have, even though a lot of the material is removed, it does actually have 100% coverage of the trigger guard, so there is no way to access the trigger. On top of that, it has a very good fit and a very positive retention. Now it's a just a passive retention system on the trigger guard itself. We'll get into that in just a minute. It also has a little bit of like a barrel stabilizer, so it has this little section here that will actually slide down into the barrel to help align the holster and make sure that it, again, doesn't move. It has basically no movement whatsoever when it's inside the holster, which is, of course, how you want it. Now, on the actual clip itself, the clip is adjustable both up and down. Usually, I have it, the holster sitting as low as possible, as I find that's what's most comfortable for me when I'm carrying. And, of course, you also have it for cant. So, you basically just loosen up this screw, and you can adjust this as much as you want. So, it is adjustable for height and for cant. So, depending on how you want to carry it, you can carry it in a variety of ways. On top of that, we also have this little tab here that you can remove if you don't want it. That kind of just pushes the holster to keep the grip pressed up against you a little bit more. And that's just going to help keep the gun a little bit more covert while carrying appendix because, of course, it is going to push that grip up against you a little bit more so it's not printing through your clothes. Now, the guns that they're starting out with, I believe, is the P365, 365XL, Glock 43, 43X, and the Springfield Hellcat. Probably a couple other guns in there as well, but they're all basically very small guns to begin with. So... As far as the holster goes, as you'll notice, it does add some bulk to the actual gun. So like a Kydex holster, depending on how they're made, can basically add no mass to the gun whatsoever because it's a very thin Kydex shell, basically. This does add a little bit in terms of its thickness and its width. So it's not necessarily the most low profile holster on the market, though the best thing about it for me personally is that one, the P365 is a very easy gun to carry uh, to begin with because it's very small, but the Retention on here is very, very good, and it is very, very positive. So it has the most tactile clicking sound, like lock-in sound out of any, you know, sort of appendix, IWB, Kydex holster that I've ever tried, and that I really like. So it does have, again, a very positive lock-in. You know when it is in the holster, and it does have a very good, very secure fit. So for the security and fit of the holster, again, coming in at a price tag, of 40 bucks for a Safari Land holster, it's very good. 
Now, again, the one downside to this holster is that it does add a little bit of size to your handgun. Fortunately, the P365 is already a very small, very easy to carry handgun. So if you add a little bit of size to it, it's not the worst thing in the world, though. Again, if you're somebody who it's not very comfortable to carry a gun, so you're trying to have as little girth size as possible, then this is going to add a little bit, and that would be the one downside, I would say, to this holster. Now, if you already have nice Kydex holsters for your everyday carry guns, the Safari Land schema isn't something that I would, you know, rush out to switch to. However, again, the advantage of it is that it's a very simple holster that only costs about 40 bucks. So if you're looking to, you know, buy a new holster or something like that, this is definitely something to look at. Not necessarily something I would just immediately switch out of your standard Kydex holsters from whatever company that you have out there. But for the price and the value that they're providing, again, it is a very secure fit. I really like that positive clicking for the retention. Again, the retention itself is very good. Even though the looks are kind of a little weird, it has been very comfortable to carry. I actually did spend several days in this holster nonstop while my wife was giving birth, and this was what I was carrying during that time. And so again, the P365 is an already very easy gun to carry for extended periods of time. The Schema is a fairly comfortable holster. It's very well designed, but again, it is going to add a little bit of size. Last thing that I did forget to mention is it also does protect the magazine release. Now, the P365 magazine release is very low profile to begin with, but again, it is just another nice feature of the holster. And again, that positive retention is very nice. So for 40 bucks, would I recommend the Safari Land Schema if you're looking to buy a new holster for your EDC micro compact gun? Well, absolutely for 40 bucks. I think it is a very easy to recommend to have one of these for a bunch of different guns again, because it is very inexpensive. I wouldn't recommend just swapping out your holsters that are already working for you and going to the schema unless it just has some feature that you're desperately looking for. But again, for 40 bucks, I think that Safari Land is providing a very good holster that adds a little bit of size to your micro compact, but again, should still be fairly easy to carry has a really good feature set, very good retention, very nice, positive, passive, that lock up on the trigger guard feels very good. It sounds very good. It's very confidence inspiring. So I think they did a very good job with the holster and also with the price point only being at 40 bucks. But with all that out of the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the Safari Land schema in the comments down below. And with all that out of the way, guys, thank you once again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace off.